this is your favorite squirrel, the Mad Salvi, coming here with a semi-serious situation that's going on with the Completionist and his uh, four, 501c3 um, issue, the, the charity issue. So we're going to start off with here. He runs a charity for dementia. It's dementia research. It's, you know, dementia is a horrible thing. It makes people forget who they are. It makes people forget who you are. And it, it degrades the brain to the point where um, they, they start getting very scared. Very, it's, it's very complex issue. So he, he runs a 501c3, which is a charity for his mother, because his mother passed away from dementia. And, um, he, that is very respectable. That is very respectful. And, and people were giving him money. He runs something every year where he does the charity live stream, uh, where he has indies, you know, big, big wigs, big names in the, in the, the game community, Everybody's going in there. Everybody's doing their thing. They're giving money. People give money to the tune of around a hundred thousand a year or so. They give money, and he is he is supposed to have spent it on something charitable. That's what the charity is all about. That's what people are giving him money for. But here's one thing that pisses me off. Here, look. This is his 2022 filings. He has 117,000. In case you can't see it, 117,247 dollars put in. As Moon they Heart make $117,000. Then they somehow spend $11,000, but still contribute zero. Because when you're at a 501c3, every single year, the government wants to know, okay, you've gotten money in. How is it being spent? How is it going out? It should be going out, according to what I remember, 5% of what you go in minimum per year should be spent on a charitable contribution. Like the charity should be spending money going out. And he hasn't. His hasn't. Look, right there, that little thing he's highlighting, it says contributions, gifts, grants paid. Zero dollars. He has $117,000 that year that was given to him. $11,000 spent on administrative fees, whatever, you know, filings and all that other kind of stuff that you say you're paying an accountant. $11,000. Just say that much. Okay, cool. Not a problem. <clears throat> I don't have a problem with that. Problem I have is zero going out. That's fraud. Dollars. At all. A street fraud. So again, this starts them with five four. And in the beginning of the year, they have five hundred forty nine thousand dollars in their bank account, five hundred forty nine k in the bank account. By the end of it, the end of the year, they have six hundred fifty five k in the bank account. It's been that way. They've been amassing money for the past four or five years like this. But this last year was the one that I wanted to point at. Six hundred fifty five thousand five hundred twenty dollars. Yes, I'll watch yours next, Tech. $655,520. That is how much money they have in the bank. Why aren't they spending it on something related to dementia? Why aren't they giving it to charitable organizations as well, like other research organizations, like research universities, research hospitals, something? Why aren't they doing it? And you know what he said? He said because they haven't been able to find a charitable group that they feel comfortable with. That is BS. That is fraud. I will say it right now. It's fraud. Not, not in the sense of the fraud of that. They're, oh, they're taking people's money and they're, they're running away with it. They're not doing what people have been promised that they were going to do. Since the beginning, they promised that they were going to be giving money to, uh, you know, organizations, other organizations that are research, other organizations to better understand dementia, to help heal and hopefully prevent dementia in the in the long term that's what they're trying to do that's what they said that they were going to do that's their mission statement but look at this 49 and ends them with a whopping 655 that's too much money. dollars in the bank 655 uh, that seems about right indie land is raising six hundred thousand dollars obviously there's Indyland a bit more money his, that they earn from various other thing. events and more contributions but the point is this is still money that's sitting in their account that's the big thing. And look, let me go forward beyond all this <clears throat> to what he says. I knew it was sitting there mm -hmm. at a certain point, and that's, yes. what that's made the me issue. Actively go about it. Like, do you know when that point was? I was made aware in 2021 with the, the, the two years. Still, by now, two years that he knows that it was just sitting there doing nothing. How come he hasn't had, had anything done in two years? Two freaking years. He hadn't moved yet. Okay. And that's what made me go, that's not fucking cool. And that's what it's I got involved to move in. And did anyone? Uh, last year, 2022. 
Yeah, did anyone tell you that the, the, the money was going somewhere before then? Were you being misled? No. No, no, no. No one told me anything. Okay, I was, I so he wasn't being misled. To a he knew exactly what was going on. I assumed it correctly. But the reality is, if you even knew that, how could you prepare for Indie Land 2023 or anything? And here's the issue that I have here. It, they go on further to have more conversations with him. But here's here's the, the kicker that I get from this whole conversation thing. He is acting like I need to protect my name. I need to protect my uh, credibility here. I need to. He was thinking more about me, me, me. How can I make it so it doesn't look so bad on me? At least that's what I got from the conversations I was hearing. I got that it was all, how can I make it so it doesn't seem so bad on me? Yes, I messed up. Yes, he owns up to it. I'm glad that he does. But in his owning up to it, it's like, not like, oh man, I made a mistake. You know what? My fault. My bad. I'll take the L on this one. It's more like, what can I do so that I don't take the L on this one? What can I do so that my reputation is not tarnished? Too late, buddy. It's already tarnished. It's already tarnished. The fact is, you now have sown a seed of doubt in anyone who is ever going to give to your charity in the future. You've sown a seed of doubt. Is it just going to be staying there? Is it just going to be sitting there doing absolutely nothing for the next 20, 30 years or however long they decide to sit on their asses and do nothing about it? Is it going to be doing that? And no, it should never be doing that. So that is the big issue that I have here. I don't want to rant for too much longer, but that is what it is. He is defrauding the people who put money in there because of the fact he hasn't done anything to it. He hasn't taken any money. He hasn't taken any money. The completionist hasn't taken any money with this 501c3 charity. He hasn't taken any money away because administrative fees are normal here. But what he has done is he has not done anything with that money. That money is not benefiting anybody. It is not being given to a charity here and charity there, like $500 here, $1,000 there. No, nothing is being given to anybody. What is he doing to help dementia research in this case? Nothing. And that is defrauding the will of the people who gave the money to his charity. It's defrauding those that felt, I'm giving money because I want to help dementia. I want to help prevent dementia in the future. The completionist mother died of dementia. I want to help so that that doesn't happen again. People giving sometimes $1,000, sometimes 500 bucks, sometimes that kind of stuff. It is wrong for you to do that. If you don't figure it out, guess what? You have a huge community out there. Be like, hey, you know what? I'm having trouble figuring out how to spread this money around. This lovely money that you gave me. Help me out. Make it public. I'll take, I would do that. I would take the L if I was a big guy like him. I'd be like, you know what? Community, help me out. Give me ideas of what institutions I can help out with where I can go, what I can do, and then I'll vet them myself. Give me a list, I'll vet them myself. But he didn't even do that. Luckily, luckily, since it's a 501c3, every single year he has to put what he's done and what he's done with the money and everything like that, so he hasn't taken any of it, luckily. But he is, he is shooting himself in the foot because he will not get money again. Or not nearly as much money again. Because this is out by some ordinary gamers and Carl Yopes. They're the ones who put this out, out there. I'll put both of their videos down in the description below on the video that I'm making right now. I'll put both of them down in the description below. Because they both did an amazing job figuring all of this out and putting it all out in the open. But now that it's all out in the open, guess what? No one's going to give to your charity again. Or very few people are. You have hurt other charities as well. This pisses me off. Because there are people who could be helped. There are people who could have been helped by that. Even $5,000, even $1,000, even 100 bucks goes a long way to help. Because that's 100 bucks that the organization didn't have. And you messed it all up. For what? I don't know, because you were twitting your thumbs up your ass? You had your thumb up your ass and you're just waiting there hoping someone else would do it for you? That's just wrong. Okay, I'm going to stop ranting here. I'll leave it at that because I've been ranting for nine minutes. I'll leave it at that for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, let me know what you think down below because I am very passionate about this because I'm very passionate about helping others and I'm very passionate about being someone who gives to charities and that kind of stuff. I really, really, it really pisses me off when people do this because it erodes the trust in other charities. Once again, like and subscribe if you enjoy this. If you want to see more deep dives, if you want to see more uh, co uncovering people who are doing wrong things, that type of thing, let me know. If you just enjoyed this one, let me know as well. Thank you so much. This is the Matt Salvi. I will be seeing you all on the next video. Thank you.